I bet you thought I was done with Pizza Tower. Yes, I'm reusing the opening joke from my Sonic Frontiers video. What about it? Pizza Tower is good and cool. I bet you have never heard that before. Nah, but for real, I love Pizza Tower. But let's say you want more out of Pizza Tower. You've P-ranked every level, got purple clothes, you've even completed the John Challenge and achieved John Coloring, you've gotten all the achievements and gotten golden clothes, now what? You wait until the noise as a playable character is released? Or you could mod the game? Pizza Tower has an incredibly, like, really dedicated modding fan base. Especially when you consider that Pepino has over 5,000 unique sprites. So I picked three to talk about today. And even though the title of the video is The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, I don't want to put this on a ranking system, you know? These are all pretty good mods that you should check out. And despite the fact that this is titled Pizza Tower Mods, these are actually all separate files that you can open on the itch.io website. And I'm going to be putting a link to the ones that I talk about in the description if you want to go give it a try yourself. One thing to note, these are all based off of the old Sage 2019 demo. So that's my John, that's my excuse. If you see me sucking at gameplay, it's because I'm used to the new gameplay. No John. With that, I don't see any reason to dilly-dally any longer. Let's talk about the first one, Sugary Spire. Okay, I know this isn't technically a mod, this is a demo for a fan game, but I want to put this in the thumbnail. There have been plenty of videos going over Sugary Spire, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Get it, sweet? This is a fan game made by a bunch of Pizza Tower fans who actually outnumber the original team behind Pizza Tower. Instead of playing as Pepino, you play as The Noise, who now becomes the regular old chef with anxiety, dubbed Pizzell, and The Noise has been replaced with Pepino, now dubbed Pizzano the Looney Tunes mad rival. Except rather than the whole thing being themed around pizza, now the whole game is themed around candy and sweets. Your basic cheese slimes have been replaced with cotton candy slimes. Instead of transforming into a knight, you transform into a bunch of cotton candy. Even the art style looks a lot less greasy than Pizza Tower does. This is probably the fastest of the games out of the three. Pizzell, despite playing a lot like Pepino, has enough unique mechanics to differentiate the two. For example, you have a normal grab dash just like Pepino by pressing the X button once, but if you press it twice in a row, you can tumble. Tumbling kills enemies, and you can easily combo that into dashing. That's a pretty sick mechanic overall. However, there is one change that I actually do not like that much. Wall running has been limited. In the original Pizza Tower, if you run up a wall, you can run up for forever. With Pizzell, you have to have a specific speed to actually get any distance going up that wall. If you don't, you're just gonna fall right back down. I depend on the wall run, so that's not good. Even the music is plenty different. Pizza Tower has a lot of emphasis on guitars, but the Sugary Spire has a lot of emphasis on almost electro swing, and they knocked it out of the park with the music. John Gutter and Unearthly Blues are a fine song, but the entryway song for Sugary Spire is amazing. Like, it's really good. And the Secrets theme, wow. You're gonna be hearing that song in a few videos of mine. Yeah, mid-recording, I changed my mind. Vibe break. Heck, they even changed the escape to be different from Pepino's. During pizza time, the song will start off slow and then slowly kick into high gear, and the screen will shake a little bit as more enemies spawn. During Sugary Spire's escape, or they call it Sugar Rush, they skip making the song awesome. They make you feel panicked the whole time. You need to get out now. And you know how I said earlier that the screen kind of shakes a little bit in Pizza Tower? Here, the screen tilts a little bit on top of more shaking. That adds a lot to the overall panic of needing to get out. Now recently, there has been a buzz about a second demo that you could play. You could even play as Pizzano or, you know, Pepino Noise if you forgot. However, that was not a released build. That was a leak. If you see anyone offering you access to demo number two of Sugary Spire, that's a virus, don't click on it. As the game nears completion, they're probably going to try and make it way more similar to modern Pizza Tower. But that doesn't mean this first demo has nothing to it. I say give it a try. With excellent music and art direction, speedy gameplay, and just an overall sense of uniqueness, this is one... I already made a sweet joke, dang it. You won't get a toothache playing this game. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Before we begin the next segment, this part is going to contain... Blood, 
flashing lights, jump scares, and disturbing topics involving children. If you find this uncomfortable, skip to the time frame on the screen, please. So, Snick. Just in case you somehow don't know, Snick was a parody character invented for the Sage 2019 demo of Pizza Tower, being an obvious parody of Sonic the Hedgehog. Once you completed all three levels, Snick's challenge would appear, where you're chased by Snick.jpg, which is an obvious joke of the internet creepypasta Sonic.exe. Some people got really attached to Snick. Some people wanted him back. And even though he's barely got a missing poster in the final game, this team of modders decided that they were going to make their own Snicks rematch, titled Leaning Nightmare. And it's fine? Don't get me wrong, the gameplay is smooth and fast and excellent, just like regular old Pizza Tower. As a matter of fact, in the Snicks rematch, they actually teach you speedrunning techniques by making them mandatory. That's pretty cool. They even have a remix of the Leaning Nightmare song for that final chase. It's great. My main gripe is the snickification of it all. You can play through those first original levels again, but everything has been snickified. All the enemies are purple and wearing red hats, snicks will randomly appear, and the original Leaning Nightmare song will replace Pizza Time. Parts of it I like. I really like when you knock down Pillar John and all of a sudden you hear- But... I don't know, man. I'm really not into dogpiling on something, you know? Just calling it bad for the sake of bad. Usually I try to have a reason. But a Snick OC is just really weird sounding to me. And this game has three of them on top of original Snick. During that final, final segment where you get to have a final showdown against the Snicks. When you get to have a final rematch against Snick.exe. Yeah, now he's .exe and not JPEG. The parody is gone. More Snicks appear. And you know how that first Snick is kind of funny looking and obviously a joke? This is way too far in my opinion. Like, that's just straight up Bendy with a hat. And I haven't even gotten to the worst of them all. The one that jump scares you with blood. Oh, I was just doing research and uh, turns out there is a no jump scare option. Forget that last bit of criticism. Now in its defense. Having to use your super taunt to get it off the screen is actually a really fun concept. And it's pretty cool in execution. But It feels like the parody of Sonic.exe just whooshed over their head, you know? It feels like they took the parody and then tried to make it serious. Now I mentioned earlier there would be disturbing topics. Here's why. The team behind Leaning Nightmare was actually rather large, consisting of around four to five people, including users like Aker, Apikra, and the user Drexel. Drexel has been kicked from the project and they are working without him. I feel uncomfortable saying it. No, I'm just going to say it out the gate. Drexel was a pedo. Now I tried doing a little bit of digging on him, and as far as I know, he hasn't done anything to anyone. However, that's messed up in and of itself, and the rest of the team agrees with me. He was ousted for liking little boys and girls, and the team promptly kicked him out and said that's unacceptable. He's no longer part of the team, and the team is working on a new version of the game without him. The game is in the description, so you can try the game if you want to still, but I felt like I should give you that kind of info in case you wanted to know, or if that's a deal breaker for you. Oi. Let's not end it on a low note, though. Let's try and go on a funny note. Piss towel. Creeper. If you're over the age of 28, this mod might not be all that funny to you. Guess who's not 28? In this mod, you do not play as Pepino. You play as Pissino. Every single asset of the game has been replaced with a meme. Every single asset from the song Cold Spaghetti being replaced with a Big Chungus remix to the instructions of the game having these meme drawings like Shaggy and Annoying Orange to your enemies being Ninja the Fortnite player and a Minecraft slime to just the background as a whole 
every single part of every single frame of this video game has been replaced with a meme. And it's kind of funny. Apart from that, nothing else has changed from base game. It still plays exactly like the 2019 demo. Except now you're running away from elmo.jpg. It's kind of fun trying to see if you can get that S rank through the memes and dreams. The team even redrew Piscino to reference as many memes as they possibly could. Each one of his taunts, including choking out the boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin', to saluting the US flag, to being replaced with a JPEG of Wario dabbing. When you dash, the song that plays is Scatman's World. And that's all I'm gonna play because I don't want to get sued. This is just an out and out funny mod, dude. Now there is a final version for the game that you can actually play. However, I am really bad at messing with mods on my computer. I was lucky to get that infinite lap mod on Pizza Tower working. With that said, this replaces the 2019 Sage demo. And by replaces, I mean is a separate .exe. You don't have to do any of the modding yourself. All you have to do is run the file. And I think it's still a challenge to play this game rather quickly. Just through the sheer memery of it all, it's hard to keep focus. So I challenge you, try and get that S rank on Elmo's Revenge through the memes. It's tough. And also I'm used to New Pizza Tower. And those were three separate fan game mod slash .exe files that you can run by yourself for Pizza Tower. I'm certain I missed a few, there's probably plenty. If you have any one of those favorite mods or favorite .exe's, favorite separate files, let me know! I'm certain I'm not in the know about it. With that said, thank you for watching. And check out this funny image Mick Pig uploaded. Can you tell I want noise as a playable character?